What's up, guys? We are here with a more SPL Gingy versus CL, which is pretty interesting. Haven't looked at the teams yet. Oh god, CL brought straw. Disgusting. So this will be interesting to see if the Lele is Shed Shell to avoid getting trapped by Doctrio. <laughs> Abia said he's trying to get Doctrio ba banned, relax. Why do you lead with Doug? I mean, I guess because uh, the, the Lele lead is kind of obvious, but... Hmm. Maybe you try to pursue the Layla lead. Predicting Jinji to be shut shell. But yeah, he didn't lead Layla, so why am I talking about that? Okay. I was thinking about if this would be. Ooh, he dodges the toxic. I was thinking if this was like <laughs> toxic jump to Luin Zapdos, maybe, but. Nah, that wouldn't help CL, because. That wouldn't help Jinji if it's toxic jump. SD is actually pretty nice. But doesn't look like wall this. If it's defense, if it's max defense, it should wall him. We will find out if he has something to hit the clef. Yeah, he only off quick. It does nothing. Because unaware clef. And a Z. What is a Z move? Tectonic rage. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good B. <laughs> Blunder said it worked. TDK. Oh my god. Wait, what? Like, that's pretty clean that he has that, but... <laughs> See, I really didn't expect it, because if he... Ooh, the sad mixed Garchomp with Fire Blast. I mean, CL missed the Toxic earlier, but... He deserves to, like... <laughs> miss, I guess, because his stall is disgusting. I'm kind of confused as to why he has no... Mega Sableye on his team. He will have his reasons for it, I'm not sure. That Alamal is not... I don't think it's max defense, that did a good chunk. But yeah, if Dingy is Shed Shell, Lele, how they are... How I... God, why can I not speak? How I predicted earlier, and how they also like saying in the chat, this is over. I mean, as the unit protect, this guy is like getting flexed on all day. If he um, expected a Z move on the chomp, he could have obviously gone for um, protect with Clefable. I <laughs> broke Mon, please ban. Just because Ducky you wrenched it, you wrenched your chomp. Oh yeah, he doesn't even need Churchill on Lily anymore now. Because uh, the doggies brought down the Sash and he can... Can he go to Scarf Fermosa and click U-turn? Like if he is Scarf Fermosa. I assume he's that set. I mean, this outspeeds Dougie either way, it doesn't have to be Scarf, but I just assume it's Scarf from the look at his team. I'm looking at his team. Ooh, I was wrong, this is Specs. This man does not fuck around, holy shit. <laughs> okay, this is actually funny to watch, like, I'm glad that I catch it. Caught this game, catch, caught, yeah, I don't know, my English is bad. Um... Like, I feel like Jinji really expected CL to bring some fat team, because... I don't know why I said Specs is obviously live of Fermosa. <laughs> but yeah, that Elmamola got blown away. Skarmory is not even healthy, Skarmory doesn't switch in anyway. Like, if it has Focus Blast 2, Skarm gets blown away too. Like, anyway, even if it would be healthy. But Focus Blast could miss, I guess. So yeah, I don't know. If I'm CL, I just click X right now, but I hope they play it out, because this is funny to watch. <laughs> PDC playing after with Nidora, I think. Um, did 
They're playing for Sun Moon, right? Not for Auras. Yeah, that's interesting to watch. Sex the Dougie Cape. Like, Fable probably Walters, unless he has Poison Jab as well. I really like the, the, the Tectonic Rage, but... Like, that's the thing with V-moves, like... People say Stall is so good, but at the moment, but... You can, like, use... Unbreak the V-moves, ah, nice freeze! <laughs> LMAO... You can like use Z moves that are like really unpredictable because people won't expect the specific Z moves and specific mons, and they will just help you to break through um, the mons that are supposed to check that specific mon, and they're not a check anymore. Which is like, I don't like Z moves, but it makes the game like somewhat fun. It's like it's a new toy to play around with. It's pretty interesting. I love using some Z moves myself, but I hate getting like uh, blown away by them. I just used that bronze on uh, on my one team because I hate uh, Z fly uh, Z continental crush Landry so much. I mean, even if he lost his Faramosa there to like heat with a discharge or something or T-build, I still think the Lily just won the game anyway. So. Does he have the wrong nature or the wrong HP number? I don't know. <clears throat> Almomola is so weak the skull might not even kill. I kinda wanna use uh, specs for most of the, it's like I know this is life or but like in general. Wait. Why did that do so little? Didn't it do like 60 earlier? That fish snack, dude, holy. That fish is fat. I remember the first time I saw Almomola use was in some Wi Fi battle. I'm like, what? This thing has wish, that's interesting. I thought this thing would be really bad. What? I thought this thing would be like, and you, who used the fish? And then I'm like, hmm. I, play, I keep playing Pokemon, I see this thing in a tournament game. Ooh, the fish is actually not that bad. <laughs> I started using fish myself. <laughs> what am I talking about? Devil's Fish is a 5. Good god. Reveal Mirror Code. Hard Mirror Code here. Hard. Blow this Pharaoh away. Sigh. Who doesn't Mirror Code there? Just kidding, it's all good. I just wanted to see some heat. Uh, Shadow's career ended who passed me a team a few months ago with Mirror Code. Um, electric Resist Barry Almamola to beat Tapu Coco 1v1. Or like if Tapu Koko Volt switches on me, I click Mirror Code, something dies. I forgot the name for the Electro Resist Barry, so I just call it that. <laughs> like, yeah... Ciel got hacked a little bit earlier with the Toxic Myth, and uh, like the, the Freeze on Zapdos didn't matter anyway, that point was over. Uh, in my opinion, like Lily just destroys him if it has like spoon or specs at this point. Yeah, the turn on toxicness was really annoying, but he always oh, thought. I just realized he thought. <laughs> Yeah, he shouldn't have gone for rocks, he should have tried to kill the Zap those. So, this lives an Ice Beam now. Can he go... If this is a special for Mosa, doesn't change the wall this? Might be mixed, but I'm not sure. Ooh, goes for focus but predicting chancy. Fish takes five bajillion, gets bedev dropped. Who hits though? I mean that's really clean to see him hit, but if the Zapdos stayed in there that would have been like Nice for CL, but I don't think it matters anyway since this Lele should just clean up. Ooh, 
YCL getting like destroyed in this SPL season. Uh, like I think he's I think he's one and two at the moment, so he's one and three after this. Um he played fine versus TDK in my opinion, besides uh, a few little plays. Um what, what what was I trying to say? Yeah that that game versus TDK was close. He could have definitely won last week. <laughs> Race Carface, this game was over at team preview. <laughs> ben Tebulele, please. I mean there are a few things in the meta that I don't like. I don't like Dougie being everywhere. With the attack boost, it's really annoying. Ah, oh, dude, like... We banned Shadow Tech, right? On, on... What's it called? In Auras, we banned Shadow Tech on Gothitelle. Because it was, like, really hard to deal with. It's, like, uncompetitive, kinda, you can say. But that's, like, a topic for a different video to discuss. Uh, if, if Dougie's broken, I guess we've talked about that before when I had an uh, NJMP call. But we, we haven't gone into detail, we just <clears throat> have mentioned that uh, Dougie is kind of broken. Like, <sighs> people will disagree with me, but I think it's like, it's really annoying. Like, Also, a, fr a friend of mine has told me, like, um, he had, like, used Dougie and it got, like, three kills the first match he tried it out. He just wanted to see, yeah, is, is Dougie good? Yeah, let me try out. Like, the the good things that can beat Stall are, like, Banner, Tyranitar, um, Tapu Lele. That, there are some others, but those are the two that come to mind. Okay, yeah, he's the, the taunt stall breaker Lily. I didn't pay attention to the battle, my bad. The, the main stall breakers that come to mind, Benta and Lily are forced. Like, Benta cannot beat stall because Dougie. And Lily is forced to run Chetchill, which is like bad in other matchups. It's really bad in other matchups. I mean, Lily is still good because it has the, the psychic terrain, so it pushes damage. Like it's still does a lot of damage, but hmm. well, Lily is also one of these mods. Like Lily itself is not broken, but uh, the psychic terrain is like huge because you can pair, like Jinji did. He paired Fremon, physical Fremons like Alakazam and Fermosa with Tapu Lily. And um, they are immune to priority because of Psychic Terrain. I don't like this ability, man. It seems pretty, pretty, like... I don't want to say OP, but it seems pretty good. And like, it also powers up the latest Psychic moves. And uh, Lele just takes the game home. The chance he goes down, up this one down the Moon Blast. And... Um, Jinji wins for SPL. I think he lost with Blunder last week, if I recall correctly. Don't quote me that. Let me just uh, check the score now for this specific uh, series. CL versus Jinji. Okay, Jinji's on the Wolf Pack, so the score is 6 and 3. Um, Zayn Victini already played. I haven't cocked that game in. Oh yeah, that, this game has also happened. I think the score is 6 and 5 now. I just have to make sure that I upload this game after the Flame Victini because I kind of spoiled out the outcome. Uh, I will upload the Flame Victini and Jam it with in Battle in one video, which is kind of sad, but they were at the same time and I wanted to record both, so I did that. I thank you guys so much for watching. I think uh, PDC is playing soon with the door, so stay tuned for that. I will bring that to you. And it just started, so let me finish this recording and make a new one for you. Shout out to you guys, uh, thanks for watching.